Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's flyweight bout between Ji Yeon Kim versus Molly McCann. So Ji Yeon Kim versus Molly McCann. And how I predict this one to go is I'm picking the can Molly McCann. So I'm not calling her can, even though I'm kind of am calling her can, and she kind of is a can account at times, but not for this fight. I'm picking her in this one. I feel like Jiyan Kim, well, I don't feel like this is the actual thing. She has a, like a three, four inch height advantage over her, and she'll have a 10 inch reach advantage. So that's pretty scary right there. Sounding pretty good for Jiyan Kim, but takedown offense is pretty mediocre. Her, her level of competition she be is pretty mediocre, which would be that um, knockoff Maya Khalifa, that. Yeah, my Khalifa knockoff lookalike chick and Nadia Kasim. That's she stopped her. She beat like a split decision over Justin Keish and some other split decision over like Melindra Fondra or something like that. So it's like two split decisions and a knockout over a fighter who should not have ever been in the UFC. So not the best competition. With Molly McCann has really been there with some good chicks out there. And her last two fights, yeah, she lost them, but one of them was real good, like a real solid BJJ like world champion caliber grappler. Another one was like had underrated BJJ, super like I'd say super strength, but very strong, good striking. But people of a higher caliber. I feel like Jiyan Kim, she will have that height, she will have that reach. I think she's actually one or two years older. But with her, but yeah, with her, her takedown defense is very questionable. Yeah, very questionable. She got taken down like three times. I mean, her last she got taken down her last three fights. And she even gave up a takedown to Nadia Kasim. So I don't care if she was just like disrespecting her so much. Like, oh, this girl trash. She can take me down if she want to. But disrespect or not, you should not be getting taken down by Nadia Kasim at all. And the other woman had pretty decent control time over her. Um, Alessa Grasso, when she chose to take the ground, she controlled her relatively easily. And I'm not saying Molly McCann is a great world-class grappler or anything like that. I mean, she might consider herself, you, and it's for a woman that may, she probably is. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not really rating her grappling on the high. But she has shown the ability to mix it up and be able to grind out fights with her grappling and on the, against the lower end woman which Yan Kim is like I said Yan Kim got some good power she got some good reach striking like she's like a big stiff lurch for the most part those takedowns are there now I feel like Molly McCann is the more fluid faster better footwork fighter she has to be shorter but one thing about Molly McCann she's tough so you know she might have other chick might have power it's not the case like oh this chick is so bitch she's gonna just hit her with a shot and knock her out it's not like Molly McCann striking defense and stuff might be at times be iffy but it's definitely not the worst so I feel like Molly McCann can mix it up with her on the on the feet be fluid, be catch those shots over the top, especially with like a slow lurch, like slowly reaching out there and doing these slow punches, be able to catch her over the top, be able to level change and duck under, score takedowns, and really be able to eke out a decision. Like, I don't think it's going to be a pretty decision or a pretty fight in general, but I think Molly McCann is more experienced for a better competition, and she has the skills to mix it up and be able to get those takedowns, land those overhands, land those clean shots, and be able to grind out a decision. Like, with that experience as well, been there, done that, she's been in fights like that, and I see that as one of these fights that's like that, and I think she's been there again, done that, and I think she'll do it again. So in this fight, I have Molly McCann via decision.